friend of you patriots, today is a mindful Monday, December 12th. I'm your news anchor, Ryan Lynn. And I'm your co-anchor, Savannah. I hope you remember to wear your pajamas today. Nothing makes you more relaxed than wear your comfy pajamas, except for maybe Miss King's mindful moments. Let's see what she has for us today. Take it away, Miss King. Good morning, patriots, and this is Mrs. King with Mindful Monday. And today we are going to be pretending to drink our hot cocoa so we can do some mindful breathing and we can get our mind set in the holiday coziness. So let's pretend someone giving you a, a cup of hot cocoa and it is really hot, too hot to drink. Maybe it's got some marshmallows or whipped cream in it, but first we're going to smell our hot cocoa. Deep breath in and then we need to cool it off because it's way too hot. Breathe in, mm, that smells delicious. And then cool it off. Not quite ready yet. Let's breathe in again. And then cool it off. Now let's take a little sip. Mm, and feel the warmth as it goes down your throat and down into your belly. Take another sip. Mm, feel that warmth. It's gonna go down your throat, your chest, and then have a nice little warm spot in your belly. And we are gonna take one more deep breath in and cool it off. And I hope that you can continue to enjoy your hot cocoa today and have a mindful Monday. Thanks, Miss Keen. The book fair was a huge success. We hope you were able to get some new books. Miss Foyle will have the results of the coin challenge and the winner of the new books for the classroom later this week. There is a lot of change to count from the money you, that you brought in. Stay tuned for the winner. Senora Probst's elf has been hiding around school. Have you seen him? Let's find out where he's been. Hola. Hola. Muchas gracias for calling me. You're very welcome. ¿Dónde está mi duende? Rogelio. Ay, ay, ay. Rogelio está con los muñecos de nieve. Rogelio's with the snowman. Oh, Rogelio. Hey, Patriots, it's Mrs. Harris. I haven't seen you guys in forever on the news. I am here to visit you to let you know about our new Lexia and Zern challenges. Now, I know that you probably have some incentives and fun things going on in your classroom to get you to do Zern and Lexia and to celebrate your growth and how smart you're getting as readers and mathematicians. But we are starting a school-wide competition for Lexi and Zern starting in the new year when you come back from winter break. Here's how it works. For Lexia, we're looking to make sure that you are earning units. Yes, it's important that you're spending time on Lexia. And I know it shows you your goal minutes when you log on to Lexia. But we're more interested in the units that you're gaining. So on the far right side of your screen, you see how many units you've gained in a week. Every weekend, I'm going to go on Lexia on my end and look and see which class has earned the most units for the week. That class is going to earn a cookie party in the cafeteria. Now for Zern, Zern not as a concern that you're finishing lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson. That's not the purpose of Zern. The purpose of Zern is that you are completing at least three lessons a week. Now, friends, that you have five days of school a week, three lessons in five days, you can make that happen. So the class that has the most percentage of students completing three or more lessons, remember, I don't care if you're completing the most in Zern, it's three lessons. That's all you gotta do in Zern. The class that has the highest percentage of kiddos that have completed three lessons in Zern is also going to get a cookie party in the cafeteria. So make sure that you're earning those units in Lexia and then you're getting up to three lessons a week in Zern. Now 
let's pretend that we were doing this challenge today. I want to announce who would be winning for this week for Lexia and Zern. So if we had started this challenge today, let me tell you who would be our cookie winners. You're not getting cookies in the cafeteria, friends. This is just a practice run. Doing the Lexia challenge this week. The grand class winner who would get a cookie party in the cafeteria would be Miss Opitz's class. Miss Opitz's class made a whopping 592 units this week. Can you believe that? 592 units? If you know people in Miss Opitz's class, you go ask them what they are doing to get those Lexia units in. So keep going with those Lexia units, even doing them over the winter break, because those Lexia units are helping you become smarter readers. Remember, the actual challenge starts back in January. Now let's talk Zern. Let's see which class had the highest percentage of people who completed three lessons this week in Zern, if we were really doing the challenge. Remember, you're not getting a cookie party this week. We'll do it after the break. But let's just see who would be the winner this week. We have one class this week that has completed three lessons. The entire class, 100% of this class completed three lessons or more in Zern this week. So if we are doing the challenge this week, the class that would get a cookie party for the most people in their class, the highest percentage doing three lessons in Zern is Miss Meyer's fourth grade class. Man, what is fourth grade doing down there? If you know someone in Miss Meyer's class, you go ask them, how are you getting those three lessons done in Zern each week? All right, Patriots, remember when we get back in January, you are trying to get the most units completed on Lexia and you are trying to complete three lessons a week in Zern, okay? We're gonna look forward to giving out those cookie parties when we get back in January. The Toys and Tots drive is almost over. Look at some of these great things our Patriots brought in. This is a really cute fuzzy dog that barks and walks. And this really cool electronic robot that lights up. And this fantastic Polly Pocket that one of our own Patriots bought just for the Toys for Tots drive. We have lots of jammies as well. Look at all these comfy cozy jammies we've also brought in. There are only two more days to bring in the toys and pajamas. Let's help other kids in need this holiday season and spread some joy. New unwrapped toys are needed as well as pajamas in all sizes. Drop your donations in, off in the front office, collection bins, and show your Patriots pride. It's birthday time. Do we have any birthdays today, Rylan? Yes, we have just one. Happy birthday to Lucas P. in Miss Lipinski's class. What's for lunch today, Rylan? Today for lunch, we're having pb and to go box, French market combo, or teriyaki meatballs with brown rice. Vegetable and fruit choices are roasted broccoli, cucumber dippers, fresh orange, peach cup, or juice. And don't forget to grab your milk and utensils. Tomorrow is Grinchmas, where you're, we're green like the Grinch. Everyone has seen at least one of the Grinch movies. So be sure to get your Grinch's face on. It's time to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, Patriots. Then be seated for a moment of silence. Okay. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Remember, we are leaving the questions by feeding our passions and exploring our wonders. 